Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, it's our wine, food and restaurant expert, Gabor Sheritsky. Gabor has paid a visit to our wine supplier, Barker's Cellars of Remuera. Tonight, from the wonderful variety of wines in stock at Barker's Cellars, Gabor has chosen two splendid wines for tasting. Gabor Sheritsky, our wonderful wine, food and restaurants, a man that visit home in a restaurant with a lovely glass of wine. Thank you, Gerard. Nice to see you again. When can you remember that you first fell in love with wine? What was it, the, the first sip or was it the tenth sip or the... Um... That's a great question. Mm. Um, as I think back, I think it was um, when I visited my great-grandfather in Hungary, in Tokai, when I was about eight years old. So going out to the vineyard and pruning grapes with him. In fact, I remember cutting my finger really badly with a cigarette, so yeah, don't do that. But, uh, <laughs> um, and then drinking wine over lunch with him when I was about seven or eight. I fell in love with wine about then. Barker Cellars in Remuera. Anthony and the team up there have prepared two fabulous wines today for They're you. They're just raving about these two Pinot Noirs. Okay. Raving. All oh, Pinot Noir. Yes, mm. your favourite. Let's have a look at it. It's Prophet Rock, is it? The first one's Prophet Rock. It's whereabouts? Now, it's here. an 06, okay? 06. Yeah, and I have um, just want to tell you a little bit about it. This winemaker is quite unusual. He uses very natural, wild, fermented sort of techniques. So he lets the wine ferment on its own, very slow. Um, it spends 15 months in brand new oak barrels, so it's really toasty. It's got a real toastiness about it. The, it's actually grown in in the uh, Bendigo region of Central Otago, mm. and the, the winemaker is super rigorous with the winemaking. So why don't you pick mm. it up? Yes, okay. okay. And then have a sniffy sniff first. Yes. It's not that exuberant 07, which I have an 07. It's a mm. little bit more serious. The color's quite dark. Mm. So I'm gonna show you that for a Pinot Noir. That's a pretty good color for a Pinot Noir. And considering it has got yeah. a year or two's age, that's a decent color. So really, really quite a rich red wine. Got a great color, okay. Mm. Very earthy sort of characters. You know how I used to say mushroom intrigues occasionally? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that lovely yes. thing? You love that? <laughs> well, this one's got mushroom intrigues, a bit of earthiness to it, a bit of bramble. It's not on the fruit precocious side. It's definitely on that sort of more elegant, more savory sort of style. Have a little sippy right. sip with me. Mmm. Oh, that the is texture. Sensational. My goodness. Mm, it is. No good. wonder Anthony goes rave about this. This is his favourite Pinot Noir. When I walked into the store, you said, you've got to try this. By the way, it's not cheap. Mm. Okay, it's in the generally in around the $45 to $50 dollar mm. range. Okay, so it's not a cheapy wine. But by God, if you're a Pinot Noir lover, you've got to try Splash this. Splash out on a special it, occasion. Well, every night's a special occasion, do you know? Right? <laughs> I'm still around. If I'm around, definitely slash out on it, okay? All right. So let's try the other one. Oh, that's great. Okay. Would you believe it? You can buy, probably buy over 150 Pinot Noirs from Central Otago now. There's over 70 odd producers, mm. okay? And most of them got one or two Pinot Noirs to sell. So it has just gone off like ballistic. Wonderful. Now, these guys are quite interesting to Main Road. Uh, I picked this wine because if I said to you, and you, you weren't into that super serious sort of style of Pinot Noir, this is just a fruit bomb. Pick it up, Joe. Yep, just pick okay. that up, okay? Color not quite, not, sorry about all that yeah. noise. Color not quite as big, right. okay? Mm. Not as serious, not super purple, not that rich. So if you smell the nose, you go, wow, that's cherries. Just smell mm. that. Even a little bit of Black Doros plums yes, for the character. Yes, I yeah? got the plums. I got the plums, plums. this time. Black yes. Doros plums, okay. Super fruity sort of wine, 10 months in oak. The main road comes from Bannockburn. It's uh, a little microsite on some amazing old soil. They call it actually pipe clay because they look like little pipes. Yeah. You know the little pipes, the yeah. smoking pipes that were yeah. made from clay? And in reality... It's um, a totally different style than the Prophet Rock. The Prophet Rock's a bit more serious, uh, definitely more French in orientation. This is traditional Centro Otago fruit bomb. I love this style. Okay, you, you have a sip of this with me, Gerard. Mmm. Mmm. My oh, God, is my, that, that gorgeous. Is that. Yeah. Oh. This is uh, Mallow Monroe, mm. and this is Audrey Hepburn. 
Okay, so you're talking about one that's got substance, like substance, okay, and the other one that's got elegance and structure, which is better, I don't know, it depends if you like, you know, it just depends on what you like. Well, once again, let's thank Anthony and the team at Barker Cellars in Remuera for supplying our wines this week. They've done a Honestly, the main roads are absolute bargain. Yeah. I think you can get uh, two bottles uh, mm -hmm. for about $70. The Profit Rock's a real treasure. You're going to ask, you have to pry it out of Anthony's own hand, <laughs> okay, because he's loving this wine too much. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see any in the store. Yeah. So go see them. These are two mm -hmm. stunning wines. Gabor, you've been wonderful. Thanks, Gerard. We'll see you next week with some great wines from Bacchus. Cheers. Cheers.